Alright, hello guys. It has been a while. Plums with Casey. So I feel like this is going to be a very awkward video because I haven't like sat down and filmed in weeks it feels like at this point. But um, what better way to come back than to paint some pot. So today we will be doing the painted pot challenge. It was a challenge created by the lovely Lindsay at just Uno Moss. She is fantastic. If you guys don't know who she is, you should really go check her out. So she just always comes up with these really, really creative ideas. I don't know how she does it. She's phenomenal. I really highly suggest going to check her out. She asked a whole bunch of us to participate in the Painted Pots Challenge. I will put the link to the playlist down below as well as her channel and her video. Highly suggest going to check out everybody's if you haven't already because I am late to the show and I apologize. There has been a lot going on. So I guess we are just going to head, go ahead and get into the video because I can imagine it's going to be a long one. So what I'm going to do first, and I have not watched this video yet, first we have to find out exactly what I am painting. So I will put it up on the screen here for you guys to watch with me. So let's find out what we're painting. They updated the Google Photo app and now I'm confused and I can't find it. Okay, here we go. So I have oh, look how pretty the, she is. Um, pot painting challenge and, uh, hmm. What should her prompt be? Hmm. Well, Casey has a couple geckos, so I challenge you to paint a gecko themed pot. So, oh my luck. gosh. Wait to, wait to see what you make. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I guess we are going to do a leopard gecko themed pot. I am so excited. Oh, what do I want to do? Should I? Oh, okay. So this is the pot I'm going to be using. I got it for $2 at Lowe's, I believe. Um, hmm, fun fact, I had a string of dolphins in this and it died. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take my pencil. I'm going to be taking this pencil and I'm going to be sketching. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. So I've been kind of thinking about the idea that I want to do and I think I want to, as much as I love their tails, um, I think I'm just going to focus on the face the most and just kind of do a cute little gecko kind of like hanging over the pot. We'll see. Maybe I might, uh, do kind of like the tail on the other side. I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and test out my artistic abilities. This should be very interesting. So, um, enjoy. <laughs> Maybe I should do like the body first going, it's just so I know exactly where to put the head. I can't get the eye humps right. I don't want it to look like a frog, but I feel like it's going to end up looking like a frog. So, um, if this ends up being a frog, I'm sorry. <laughs> a spotted frog. An albino spotted frog is pretty much what it's going to end up looking like. Hopefully not. And she is eventually going to be a girl, but I think that is what we're going to start out with. It's simple. It's a head. I don't even know if you can really see it, but it is a leopard gecko head. And, um, we are going to be doing, I need a paper plate, a light gray for the head. Okay. So we're going to be doing like a light brown for the head. It's not necessarily just going to be a cream, but um, hopefully I can get the color that I want. We're going to be mixing these two colors. These, uh, these are uh, Artist's Loft acrylic paint, and 
The colors are unbleached titanium and burnt sienna. Sienna. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. I think I got these at Michaels. So this is what I'm mixing. I probably. Sh I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put more down because I don't want to have to like try to get this color and even if I do decide to do the body as well which I do I plan on doing that like a little bit darker than I would um, the head anyway since I'm trying to highlight the head if that makes sense I really I don't know what I'm doing but um sometimes I like to think that I do Okay, so now that I have the face, I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes, which I'm just going to be doing that uh, unbleached titanium color. the eyes are done. Well, the whites of the eyes. I need to wait for the rest of it to dry in order to do the rest of it. Now we're going to take this blue color that I made. I just mixed just regular blue with a little bit of white to make it a little bit lighter. And now we are going to attempt to do the eyeballs. Okay guys, so it has been a few days, um, a lot has happened in the past couple of days. I changed my hair color, but that is not the point. The point of this is to finish this. So this is how far I've gotten. I've added some spots and basically all we have to do now is outline everything and then I want to put a little heart up at the top. So that is what we're going to be doing now.
So this is the final product. This, this one right here kind of bothers me, but like overall I think it turned out really cute. So yeah, I kind of just uh, used the lighter colors because Honey, my baby, Leopard Gecko has lighter spots and Stella has a little bit darker spots, so I kind of combined the two into this little guy. So, yeah, thank you all for being patient with me for getting this video out. I know it's at least two weeks late, and I apologize. If you want to watch everybody else's video, I will link whatever I can down in the description. I'm pretty sure there's a playlist out. If there is, there'll be the playlist. If not, I'll put everybody's video down there. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below. You can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. And yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys next week with an Equigenera unboxing. Bye guys.